Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can change your sprite, um, edit the collider and um, set your sprite at a fixed angle. So if you have a look at my scene here and if you've been watching the previous tutorials you might notice that it's changed a little bit. So before I was using a ball as the player sprite and now I'm using a person um, and I've moved some of the objects around and resize things a little bit. Um, so basically what I've done here is um, I've got, I've renamed my player to player. It still has the ground checkpoint um, attached to it, but instead of being a ball sprite, it's now um, a character, a person. Okay, so to do that, all I had to do was go over to the um, player's sprite renderer, and where it says sprite, at the moment it says player idle, you can change that to whatever you want. So if I have a look at my sprites here, I could drag the ball sprite back on if I wanted the ball sprite. Um, and now it's actually really tiny. <laughs> if you, you might be able to see it there, but um, let's have a look. Oops. It is right there. So I've got the ball sprite. Um, or I could put this bird on or whatever I want. So the sprite character I had was actually quite um, quite big, this one here. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll just drag that back on. Um, we'll go back to what I had. There we go. So it's quite easy to change your sprite just by basically dragging on a new one there for your player. Okay, um, and when you change the sprite, you'll probably also need to change the collider. So before when I had the ball, um, it was I was using a circle collider, but now that I've got a person with, um, it's a different shape and lots of different edges, I've changed it to a polygon collider. Okay, so if you need to remove a collider, you can just click on the little settings cog next to it, remove component, and then you can go down to add component and find the new collider that you want. The other thing that I've done is I've set the character to a, well, the player to a fixed angle. So I'll uncheck this, and this is what it was like before. So when I had the ball sprite, fixed angle was not checked. So when I change to this sprite, this is the problem that I'd run into. So when I jump, I'd often flip upside down um, and have these kind of problems occurring. Okay, so to fix that, you can just set your rigid body 2D component to a fixed angle. And now when you bump into things, so if I accidentally jump up into um, one of these planks here, if I land on the bomb, run into it, I don't flip over. Okay. So that's how you can fix that problem by just setting it to a fixed angle. Okay. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually animate this sprite. So I have a few movements for this sprite. I have idle, uh, which is what it's set to now. I have a jump animation and I have walk um, animations that I want to set as well. So at the moment, I've just got individual sprites, but what we'll do next is actually animate this um, character so that when the character's moving, it will have the walking um, sprites or walking animation, when it's jumping, it'll have a jump animation. All right, that's it for this tutorial though. Thanks for watching.